Well, um, I'm outside the, the venue where the Edinburgh Festival is being held, um, and I'm joined by the guy that's comparing it, the one and only Ewan Spence. Hello, everybody out there on wherever this gets broadcast. It's going to get broadcast <laughs> everywhere because it's the internet is going on. Oh, that's right. It surrounds us and binds us and holds us. No, that's the force from Star Wars. Ah. Do you want to explain your involvement with Edinburgh's Twistable? Oh, it's a funny story with that, actually. I actually um, offered to Tane and the guys, and um, like, if, if you need something on stage, you know, do you need something to hold it together and the compare and stuff? And he said, well, we've actually already asked somebody, so we'll put you as the second choice. I think, great, lovely. Um, that's fine. Uh, and then Tain calls me back and goes, uh, you ain't, yeah. Didn't you reply to me asking you to be the compare? Uh, no, I never got the message. Oh, right, because we were looking for somebody else to do it, and then you volunteered to do it, and you hadn't volunteered the first time we thought that. But I'm sure they asked me, and I asked them at exactly the same time. Messages crossed over in the middle. And I suppose that sort of reflects the whole medium that's been used to organise the event, because it's not been done through professional channels, it's been done just by ordinary grassroots guys using 140 characters a time. You see, I would call that a professional channel. Why? Because professionals use it. That's a very good point. You know, what is a professional channel? Well, these days the lines have been blurred, haven't they? Yes, yeah, you, you're definitely trying to not answer the question now, aren't you? I'm meant to be asking the questions. I'm, I'm holding the microphone, you in. <laughs> well, that's easily off, so here, give it here. <laughs> No. I think pr- pr- the thing is, might, might the, that last evening, oh bless! Sorry, carry on. You, you know, in, in Edinburgh we buy another microphone. Uh, the thing about uh, channels of communication is the internet has been a great level, and not just here in Twitter, uh, but all but all over the world. I mean, if you look back at the the, the start of television, twenties and thirties, it was the one person broadcasting out to everybody that could receive the signal, which was basically London. But population in the UK then would be about you know five million. You could get it out of twenty million. To the point of if you spin it forward now, um, effectively you could get everybody in the UK. UK broadcasting one single TV stream, as it were, to one other person. So you have this, you know, you, we're one to many, where all of a sudden now we have many to many. And it's that point where suddenly the individual could actually reach out to thousands and tens of thousands of people at a very small economy of scale that, that you start to get that. It's like when you think the human brain, the human brain is about neurons talking to other neurons. If one neuron can only talk to one other neuron, it doesn't go very far. Um, unless you have a very big neuron like the BBC or ITV or CBS in America or any of the other stations um, and they control it. All of a sudden, everything can talk to everything else. And rather than go through those big nodes, we kind of just go around the outside. We don't go anywhere near those big nodes because the tools are now available to everybody and if if by that you mean we're not using professional channels as in we're not going through the big boys then yes it's worked without going through the big boys that seems to be the key well i think if you turn around you see the final total that we have made tonight you see the people that i've got here you see the people around the world i mean 175 parties all at the same time I mean, that's a sort of i mean blue peter back in in 1972 um had a problem getting one tv feed on um from jfk back to the london studio on the inaugural flight of concord now 175 parties around the world all able to broadcast video to each other all sharing media all sharing audio songs videos, snippets, instant messages, Twitters, emails, PowerPoints, slide shares. You know, it is just an absolute explosion. Social media is something that you live and breathe on a daily basis. I know that you're, you're on it like me all day long. What has March got in store for you, social media-wise? I know it's a busy month <laughs> for Mr Spence. Ma- March is, is always a busy month. Uh, so I'm taking a, I'm heading over to the US. Um, a lot of, a lot of socialising IRL, that's in, in in real life, not the Indy Racing League. Um, although I would love to go over to America and do the Indy Racing League, but that's Dario Franchitti's job, local man from Bathgate. Um, married a Hollywood actress who I used to like when I was a teenager as well. You jammy sod. Um, going over specifically for five conferences, um, the uh, Getting Things Done Summit, it's the Dave Allen stuff, and I know you and I are both huge advocates of, of that system of personal management. South by Southwest is actually three festivals and one based out in Austin, Texas, with uh, music, uh, interactive and film. Basically, the three sort of corners of media all crashing into each other at the same time and in the middle of the Venn diagram is little old me going wow wow look at that look at that look at that look at that got a pee look at that 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 uh, and after that it's going to be back into San Francisco Bay just going around a lot of the small companies and startups and finishing up I'll be hosting the Lonely Planet Travel Blog Awards uh, in central San, San Francisco on Thursday the 26th of March um, and yeah, again blogs there people talking about the travel it used to be we shared your holiday snaps with people close to you now completely around the world just finally, where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, they can find me at uh, twitter.com slash Ewan Spence. 
um, or www.youandspence.com for the long form stuff and on there they'll find links back to all the other spaces that I'm involved in so Podcast Network all about Symbian Delicious Profile uh, Dig Account Twitter Account and so on and so on it's about me fading to black and I'm still talking and Mark's doing a going over and we'll just keep on talking here and I'm going to come back in, in a couple of seconds after Mark's done voice over some horror horrible scratchy place and you'll also find me there on Doppler where you can follow my travel uh, and of course you, you've got all my, my stuff as well as I said you'll find all of that back at youandspence.com Thank you.